I don't want none of that. No. Oh my god, what is that? That thing's huge. It has red eyes. These are not normal dinos. Who the hell? Okay, we should move away from that. We should definitely move away from this thing. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're hopping into this mobile game, alright? Before you bat your eyes, before you roll them, it's actually pretty dope. I think you're gonna love it. Here, we're actually picking our character for it. The soldier seems pretty freaking awesome, so I think I'm just gonna play with him. But, uh, this game is known as Durango Wildlands. And Durango, from what people have said, is like a mix of Ark Survival Evolved and last day on earth survival that is a mix that interested me so you guys have been leaving comments about this game while well, i was able to get my hands on it i think it's on android and ios and uh eat at the dining car drink at the dining car you can see us moving around which is going relatively well whenever i click on the screen it lets me like do my movie thing uh can i zoom in i can't oh look at me oh look at that look at that look at that shuffle oh look at me look at me oh i got dance moves i'm dancing i'm dancing but i hope you guys are having absolutely a favorite fantastic day i'm having a pretty good one we're gonna see how this goes something big just passed by i don't know what to do about this anything have you tried meditating oh i feel nauseous everyone's pooping their pants oh no excuse me my big nicholas fell under the chair Oh my god, she looks way more grown than she does in that photo. I can't reach it, can you help me? I will help you. Where are you? I just gotta click on it. Search for the fallen objects. Search from afar. Search from nearby. I think we're gonna be more effective searching from- Jesus, I'm searching like the girl. Oh my god. I found the necklace though. What up girl? I got you. I got you. Would you like this necklace? You would. Yippee! Thank you so much. This was the present from my mom. I was afraid I lost it. Thank you so much. Mommy taught me that. I don't think I'm gonna keep doing the goofy voice, but uh, so this is for you, should read it, it's fun. I got an encyclopedia! Holy hell! That is some limited edition- Oh god, that was way too zoomed in. That's some limited edition stuff. Can I rotate the camera? No, the camera looks pretty set, but yeah! Not to spoil anything, D-38-3, the target- Oh, he said something, I have no clue what he said, but apparently there are dinosaurs in this game. And this is why I'm very interested, because this- And apparently from what people have been saying, it's like a more complete last day on Earth. Everyone just keeps talking. I don't care. I just want to eat. Am I in like an endless loop? Oh, this looks like a promising car here. This looks promising. Hello. Eat a hamburger or a coffee or a soda. This looks like a bar. Why can I not get a drink? I guess my dude's under 21 in game too. All right, I'm going to eat a hamburger. All right, you filled your belly. No something to wash it all down. Let's get some soda in my belly. There we go. Soda in the belly. Excuse me, where'd you get that book? My cousin has one just like it. What, is this like a limited edition encyclopedia I just got my hands on? Oh, that makes sense. That does sound like my cousin. She's on her way to see your dad. Oh, so I guess this dude's related or something. This is the clerk talking right now. I hope she doesn't bother you too much so she can talk up a storm. Is the book any good? I don't get why she's so crazy about it. Well, because dinosaurs are dope. Have you never played Ark, Mrs. Bartender? Obviously not. Are we going? Don't you, what the? Oh no, that's not good. Is this the part where we die? Dude, I've played this game for like two minutes. Don't kill me already. This is an emergency announcement. We are aware of turbulence. What is this, a plane? What, why is there turbulence on a train? Please remain in your seats. We apologize for inconvenience. Hey, I'm really sorry to ask, but can you bring my cousin here? I can't just leave all these people. Make sure she's okay. All right. I don't remember where she was. I just remember going through a giant loop of where all of these people were. Holy hell, what happened? Was there a meteor? What the hell? What is this stuff? What the? Is that grass and dirt? Is this a glitch in the matrix? What the hell? It's that child's doll. Uh, I have to check her seat. What's her doll? Can I pick up the doll? Dude, that's a limited edition Parasaur doll. Have you never? Oh my God, this is a joke. Uh, <laughs> is my dude just now questioning why the forest is growing on a train? Maybe someone forced him to the next car? Dude, transmission E5, people just vanished. Oh, what? They vanished? That's not, oh, gee, oh, well, he's dying. What's up, oh. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think I wanna go into that doorway. Uh, <laughs> this doorway might lead to some troubles. What's over here? We can click on an emergency axe. Oh, great! Whatever the gun couldn't kill, the emergency axe sure as hell will. I feel so much safer now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. What the hell is in here? <laughs> There's no way my axe can do this. Seriously, why is the forest like a disease? Why is it spreading? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Was he chewing on his arm? He was. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. Velociraptor. <laughs> Uh, 
Attack the raptor. The dinosaur is wounded, but not out. Tap the dinosaur to enter combat. Attack! Attack the dinosaur! I have entered combat. Before the dinosaur uses an attack action, a yellow light will shine from below it to warn you. This is the perfect opportunity to use a defensive action to dodge its attack. Try to predict the dino's next move and tap just before... Just Beth. Tap just Beth. Okay, I'll tap just Beth. Oh! I rolled! Good roll! After defending yourself from a dino's attack, take advantage of the opening and perform your own attack action. I will do exactly that. Attack actions deal heavy damage or must be activated manually. Attack! Attack! Oh! Sweet mama, that was a big hit! Now that I learned the basics of combat, use a combination to defeat the dinosaur. Oh, big hit on the dino! Yes, yeah, suck it! I was a fireman before I got on this train! That's right. What you want? What you want? I don't want none of that, no! Oh my god, what is that? That thing's huge! It has red eyes! These are not normal dinos. Who the hell- Okay, we should move away from that. We should definitely move away from this thing. How is this dino keeping up with us? Oh, Maybe the dino's on our team. I don't know. He did kind of try eating us, but maybe he was just trying to eat the raptor. But, uh, what the hell type of dino was that? Was that like a Giga? Was that a- Oh my god. I don't think that- Maybe a T-Rex? Maybe the Indominus Rex? Low-key, we're actually in Jurassic World. I wouldn't mind that. Alright, we got a hexagon. Thank you, Hexagon. Oh, okay. This is a fancy cutscene that for some reason wouldn't load in my Wi-Fi. So I had to go on my data. I'm sacrificing my data for you guys. And for these epic dinosaurs. Oh. Have we made friends? Oh. She tossed me a fruit. I think I'm gonna marry this girl. Holy hell, we're like building a settlement and stuff? This is dope! I'm cooking up stuff in the- cooking up dope in the cockpot. What else? Harvesting berries? Building stuff? Oh, if this is a sign of the game to come. I think I am very excited for what Durango is about to hold for us. <laughs> this- oh my god! That man just tackled him? Holy hell, what's happening here? Hunting on my own dinos? Uh, oh, that thing running after us. That's always fun. Let's go away from that. Regardless of what this is- oh my god. It's like a giant trap for him. Oh! Freaking right in the knee! Holy hell, that dino just went- got the Skyrim treatment. Okay, I think- I was gonna say, maybe we could tame him, but it looks like we might have skinned him. Oh my god! Can that be me? Can I have that cool armor? <laughs> is this what- if this is what we're doing in the game, I think we are about to have a very fun time in Durango. Wildlands. So now we can create our character. Um, yeah, I might just, uh, can I just hit random? Is random a thing? You know what? I'm pretty happy with this randomness. I'll take this. He, he looks very red. The guy in the trailer with the cool armor was very red. I think this will be a great way of for us to do this. And also to name our dude Star Snipe because Star Snipe is my name. If you didn't know, now you do. Let's complete that. Yes! Star Snipe will be my character who will go through these wildlands, travel, kill, potentially tame the dinosaurs, and live amongst them because apparently they wanted to hijack my freaking train in the first ever dinosaur terrorist plot known to man. I don't even know, but this is some heavy stuff. Uncharted Island, year unknown. Oh god, we just knew the year in the last cutscene. Did we really forget it? Have we been living amongst these people that long? Or are we just totally a completely random dude right now? I don't know, but someone came with a motorcycle. Hello, motorcycle lady. And your dog. Is that a lady? Can I zoom in now? No, this is a cutscene. All right. Oh, she took off her hat. She's, oh, oh, wow. Is she gonna kiss me? Oh, she's a pretty little one, Pia, she is. Good girl, Pia. Oh, no, never mind. That's the dog. Well, the dog's pretty too. Good girl, Pia, I'll take it from here. We'll have this one up and at him in no time. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, after dying off a plane crash or whatever the hell happened. Quick little resuscitation, that's gonna save me. You hear someone's voice, your body aches. Something else happened. One step at a time, you're safe. Do you remember your name? Where you're from? You'll be dead if it drops to zero. Restore it by using medicine or resting. This is Durango. What? Who's Durango? I'm sure it's hard to accept, but you can't go back. Oh, Durango's the island place that they live in. Right, I'm sure it's a mess over there because of the warp, but first you need some food. 
Energy used to perform various activities. Recover it by eating. Eat the food you were given. We can go to our inventory. So this game's pretty freaking flushed out. It's got like skills and stuff, crafting, building. I think you guys are gonna love it. I'll have links to it as well in the description if you guys wanna check it out. But uh, this is gonna be pretty. Oh, that's survival food? Is that a chocolate bar? I'm 100% I'm serious thought that was like a wooden plank and I'm like, am I that desperate for calories? I'm gonna try to eat some wood. Like at least get me cardboard, get some fiber in my system, all right? This island is known as Angora. It is the home of volcano. It's going to erupt any time now. There is sheep on northeast coast. Go get help. I look after other survivor. Leave dog with you. She lead way. We discuss further details over radio. You receive walkie talkie. I don't know why narrator is Russian too. I'm K, by the way. Yup, K. Just K. Easy to remember, yeah. Catch you later. Okay, K. Ah, uh, got her. She never expected that. Can I get that motorcycle, by the way? Uh, no. Well, I got a dog. You know what? Five seconds ago, or like a minute ago, I was in the middle of dying. Now I have my own dog. I would say this is a pretty win-win scenario. So we gotta follow the dog to get stuff. Uh, can you hear me? Good, first head to the northern part of island. Just follow dog. Dog seems well trained. All right, there's a, oh, hello pupper. Uh, yeah, can I collect any of this stuff here? It looks like some of this stuff ought to be collectible. Is that collectible? Well, you guys see what I'm talking about on the map, right? On that map in the upper right hand corner, there is uh, some different thing. I'm just gonna follow the dog for now. The game will probably tell me how to do stuff. You know you're occupied. But make sure I have food. I saw dates around the train. Save fruit, eat later. All right, I will do this. I will do this well. All I gotta do is tap on the tree and I can collect the dates. That's gonna take a couple seconds. I'll go on a date with the dates. Oh, my pun game's on point. What up, what up? So I guess I can just keep on collecting this. Oh, look at that. There's dinos and stuff just chilling. Oh. Made a mistake to gather level one date. Dejected. Energy consumption increases due to the disappointment of failure. Wait, so I leveled up from failing to collect a date. What? How? I'm so... How did I fail? Who Who did I fail? I leveled up again? <laughs> All right, guys. Key to success. Collect fruit. It's how you win at life. Before I forget to drink water, you should wash off dust too. All right, I will do that, dude. This game got loud too. I gotta turn this down a little bit. <gasps> oh no, game breaking immersion. My media thing popped up. I know, right? Uh, all of our levels though are hopping the hell up. So why, why is her face right there? Oh, there's fresh water here. Oh, would you look at that? Drink the water. I just gotta click in the lower, lower right hand corner and I'll start drinking. Dude, this is seriously like a fully fleshed out survival game. Like last day on earth seems pretty promising with some pretty cool things, but it's definitely still a work in progress. This seems to be a little bit further along and uh, it seems pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Now, what are those gray things moving like in the map? You see that right like that way? It says there's something. I don't know what. Remove the dirty status effect by bathing. Okay, I got to bathe and we got to escape from Angora. All right, you know what's super cool too? Our dude actually gets caught in the current of this river. The amount of fleshed out that this game is for a mobile game that is free, I'm pretty sure, is actually nutty. But look at that. Dude, this is awesome. All right, Pia, woof, woof. I am the dog whisperer. I will woof to you and you will lead the way, Pia. Lead me to victory. Do it. What do you want me to do, Pia? Come on. Do you want me to ride you there? I don't think you're big enough for that. I'm a big old fella. I think I was one of the biggest sizes I could be. Where are you taking me, girl or boy? Now that you she brought you, does it feel real? Place, there's nothing like you're from. Everyone ventured to wild at some point. It's brutal, especially for first timers. Keeps the company busy with rescue missions. Ask Kay about the kid I saw on the train. Okay, so we were on the train. Good to know. I still don't get why apparently the dinosaurs were spreading the disease of Jurassic lands on that. That, that still doesn't make sense to me. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. I haven't seen a kid like that, but if I do, I'll let- Oh, hello there, Brachio. Are you are majestic, sweet mama. This is awesome. There's literally just dinosaurs chilling as we wander around. Oh my God, you can even see the shadow of the thing. Sweet mama, Pia barely squeezed past. I'll never fit. Ah, almost forgot. Thornbrush's block path. Grab pebble and make stone blade. Cut down, take look, find the pebble. All right, tap the magnifying glass to display the name of nearby objects. Oh, would you look at that? Magnifying glass is bay right now because <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot easier. This is a lot better than having to like base stuff off eyes because my eyes, they deceive me. I have deceiving eyes. Oh, I am now the master pebble gatherer. 
No one will gather pebbles as well as I do. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm trying to click on it, but it's too busy telling me about how I leveled up and all my points went up. Uh, crafting. Sure, let's do that. Let's get a weapon. Let's get the stone blade. Use stone chunk. Uh, we can click on one of them. Do these ones have, like, different color? That's so cool. They have different colors. I wonder if that might matter eventually. It has to. There's no way to just do random colors. No one's gonna go out there trying to collect a rainbow of pebbles. Alright, I don't think anyone's that dedicated to the art. But then we can cut it down with this. Look at that. Hell yeah. This stuff is gonna be awesome. I can't wait, though. By the looks of it, from that cutscene, we might be able to, like, build a base. I wanna build a base. Please, keep moving. What the hell is up ahead? Uh, fire? I suddenly feel so fatigued. I should rest by the bonfire. What a conveniently placed bonfire. You overworked yourself and are exhausted. Fatigue must return to the tired state in order to resume. Yada yada, didn't read the rest of that. Seems like you're having a hard time. Take a seat, let's chat. Yo, is this the girl? Her name is The Optimist. I gotta click on her, and then I can talk to her. So pretty much, there's like different things you can click on the map, and then you can do things with those things. So pretty, pretty easy to kind of catch on to. Nothing insanely complex. You know, I didn't walk into this thing and it was Connect 4. Next thing you know, we're playing chess. All right, this was pretty, pretty good. Uh, you won't last long if you keep pushing yourself like that. Come, rest by the bonfire. A moment. All right, I click on the bonfire and I rest. This lady, if you steal my dog while I rest, I will cry. Resting lessens fatigue. Fatigue decreases by 480 per minute in the upper right-hand corner. That looks like our fatigue. The warp does this to everyone. Your body needs time to recover. Rest when you need to or you might regret it later. Feeling better? Good. Then how about a smile? You seem like a smiley little lassie there. Come on, I bet you have a smile that can put this fire to shame. I can- Oh my god, I can do emotes? I can- This game. This is next level. That's how you know it's a real survival game when you can express your emotes. Oh my god. We are in the presence of greatness. You'll be fine. Your smile says it all. People are making a raft somewhere in the northeast. Go on. I'll follow you. Well. She, we got ourselves a girl who is not following us. Do you not want to follow me? What is that? What the hell? Do you guys see that thing? Is that a dinosaur? The the person? Oh, that's the ghost of another person. Oh, that's cool. You can see other people as they play, kind of, sorta. Maybe this is the tutorial zone, like beginning zone, so it's not as insane, but. All right, we are gonna have to keep a couple things in check. We got to remember that. Right now, I'm not gonna go gather them, but in the future, good chance we might. Also, having this magnifying glass telling me everything is pretty handy. And what the hell are those things, and why are they running through here? This is sketch balls. I'm gonna keep following the doggo. Come on, Pia. Let's get to go. Not bad, yeah. I need to head further east along coast. Where we'll find the raft? I will find the raft. In the meantime, who the hell are these people? That person up ahead just keeps staring at the road. They've lost it. Someone wrote the overpass construction. What What are these people saying? This is like a different type of dialogue, too. I think they just talk to each other. Strangely enough. All right. If you guys want to circle jerk each other, go ahead. I won't stop you. Rolando! My friend! Oh, is that a person? Oh, that's a person. I don't care about you, Rolando. I'm sorry. A ton of people chilling by the bonfire, though. I don't care. If only I had another choice, I'm sorry. Well, that dude had to kill a dino or something. Maybe he's sad because, like, the dino was his pet. Who knows? Continue to follow Pia. And, oh, that is a big raft. All right, guys, sorry about that. No clue what happened, but actually, I do have a clue. My phone, apparently, if it's at low battery, I can't record. So I had to go find a charger, plug it in, charge it a little bit. Pretty much, we finished talking to uh, our favorite girl, Kay. You know, the letter. And she told us that we have to talk to the leader, who is right there and hopefully he will let us onto his raft and we can do some shenanigans would you like to join sure don't have time to direct you you sure you can pull your weight i'll let you join us if you bring some materials examine the raft to see what might be needed so by the looks of it we got to examine what is needed and we got to get four logs and a six stocks once we get those we should be good to go and be able to sail away from there right we need logs and reed stocks there are uh, reeds and palm trees by the lake nearby so to the lake we go and I'm just gonna keep following the pupper because I feel like the pupper knows all seriously this pupper is a freaking genius so it said that there's a lake nearby I think that's all the way down here this appears to be yeah there we go we got some reeds let's get to harvest and not the fern do I need the fern I can get leaves I don't need leaves I need stalks find a small lake dude there's a small lake right here are you what 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 is this shenanigans game this is a lake. Come on. Well, I guess I'll try to keep following the pupper then. He'll try to lead us to the lake. Where do we go, pupper? 
This way? Is this where the small lake is? I just went somewhere else. There was a lake there. Come on. What is this dog doing? If this dog misleads me... Come on, pupper. What do you want? Surviving Durango. Apparently- Nah, screw, screw the dog. I can do just fine without the dog. And this is a lake right here. How does this not count as a lake? Do I have to step into it? Or maybe it's not a rake, lake. It's more of a river, but still. It has to lead to a lake somewhere, right? No? No, it doesn't. All the stuff's here! Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this. You know, now that I think about it, there is the objective thing here that's actually telling me exactly where I should go, so I should probably pay attention to that more. You guys see that dude's face? Uh, I feel like this is where I wanted to go. Is this a lake? This is a lake. Oh, what's up, friendly dino? I want you to bring logs, and you'll need an axe blade. Make a stone blade. Find some pebbles. Stone blade, just like last time. I think I got a pebble from last time. I just decided to, like, stockpile them a little bit more. Let's get to crafting. Let's craft and build that weapon, a stone blade. What? It's gonna be a green. A dark green. A baby puke green. Stone blade this time. This is gonna be perfect. We gotta craft it. Another level up. Branches make good axe handles. Just look around for a bush or a tree. Well, I'm looking for things that are called bushes or things known as trees. Neither of these things seem to be finding their way into my possession. Oh, feather tree. Will that have a branch? Yes, that's what we needed, a branch. And after we get this, is that all that we need? I think. Now we just need something to tie the two together. Cut down some reed stalks near the water. Well, look at that. Make an improvised axe. It'll be a bit trickier. Oh, I already had some reed. All right. How's this gonna be trickier? All I do is click a button and boom, it's crafted, baby. Um, I'll use up one of the stone blades. Strap, sure. Stick, sure. And look at that. 100% crafted, we hit the craft button, and moments from now, we have a makeshift stone axe. Now you can gather logs from trees, I know it's a lot to take in, but you are doing great. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Hurry up, Green Horm. Get buried under the ash. Oh yeah, isn't there like a volcano or something trying to erupt, you know, kill people? Volcanoes are fun. Can I chop you down? Uh, yeah, I need logs out of you. No more games! Only logs. We need four of them, so we just gotta gather this a little bit. I feel like every time I hit it like once, that's how low level we are. One collection gets us a level up. Can we get this log now? Gathered one log. How many are we up to? I'll get one more just in case. Then we gotta get six stocks. Okay, and those stocks just be able to get from reeds, right? Yeah, so we just gotta collect this six times. And the craft, or not the crafting, but the gathering is going pretty well. And honestly, I'm liking this game so far. We've had a little bit of a taste of combat right there at the beginning. We are probably gonna get more, we'll probably get attacked by like pirates or something once we get on that raft, but the levels seem to be coming quickly and I cannot wait to figure out all the other stuff. Okay, I, I got it. It won't be easy to sail, but you don't have a choice. Get to a tamed island, settle down, and you can't do that on an unstable island. Oh, this is gonna be cool. We get to sail between islands? And we can build our bases on tamed islands? Does that mean I can tame things on the tamed islands? That would be pretty cool, but all right, we got to start putting these things down. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Then we got the stocks. Click all of them and place the materials. Voila, the raft is finished. You can now leave Ancora and travel to another island. I will do exactly that, good sir. Today we sail to where? I don't know, but we're sailing somewhere. God dang it. Oh, look at that. Goodbye, Pia. Goodbye, Kay. Wait, why didn't they come with? These people are about to be buried by ash. Maybe she is the Ash. She's the goddess of Ash. Don't know about the dog though. Dog's definitely dead. And there we have it. We have sailed away from that wretched island. Just, just to sail to another probably even more wretched island. That was a pretty nice island, all things considered. We didn't really get attacked. Except by the volcano. <gasps> Cutscene. What, what am I looking at? Is this... Is it upside down? Is it upside down? It is upside down. Okay, what the hell? My phone's not that way. <laughs> I have my phone like tilted one direction, but for some reason during the cutscene, it's just like, no, it must be this way. So I guess it has to be that way. Uh, that's gonna look strange, but whatever. Fertilizer has no effect on crop survival. It only influences the final crop yield. Okay. We're on Copernicus Zakopana. <gasps> Zakopana? Yo, this is a Polish island. Let's go. Copernicus was buried here. This is gonna be dope. Let's go for Polska! Alright, we can go back to the right orientation. Oh, Copernicus Apokan- is up 
Okay, I'm gonna stop trying if I can't read it. My pronunciation in Polish is awful. The ship wrecked during the voyage. I washed up on a nearby island, unable to contact Kay. I sent our transmission for anyone to hear. Lagerden. Hello, Lagerden. How do you do? Uh, well, I don't know. Getting another radio signal. I heard your message. You must be distraught after all that's happened. The warp and the ship wreck. Despite all that, I can assure you life in Durango is great. What's your name? I'm Lamar. I like your name. Let's try something. Go to the water for a while. Sure. In the water. What you want me to do, Lamar? Please, enlighten me. Is there something wrong with the walkie-talkie? I'm sure you'll catch something once in the water. Once you detect some noise, try to discern the direction. Uh, search skill in the water. Oh, this is cool. So I get to, like, look for something in the water? If I go in the water, have you picked up the direction? Now the world makes a little more sense, eh? Calm down and follow the direction indicated. You should see a crater similar to what you'd find on the moon. So I gotta find something that looks like a crater. Uh, from what the search is saying, it's this way. And also, it kind of already has the dude over there telling us where to go. Or like the stupid little icon thing that's telling us where to go. It's gonna be a bit of a run, but eh, I think it'll be worth it. There we go. Oh, that... is this dude friendly? Hello? I don't think I can fight him, so he's friendly enough. Uh, do we want to collect any of this stuff? Maybe not at the moment. Although, what I'm seeing on the mini-map here is interesting. Is that a house? Do you guys see that? I think there, there are houses here. Picking up a faint noise from a crater. Banana tree forests! Joy of discovery! Discover an important spot and forget about your fatigue. I'm so happy I found this crater, man. Craters are areas abundant with resources. Alright. Touch the magnifying glass. I touched it, although that disabled it. Oh, why are all those compies surrounding me? Can you hear my voice? I'm Urzula Norvak of the Pioneer Council. Transmissions are clear. The council's looking for a worker. Uh, do you want to hear what it is? Do you plan on cobbling together stone blades forever? Would you rather get started on saving the world? I'm down with that. That sounds like fun. Let's resume talking about work when we get to camp. We have to speak there due to security regulations. We might have some time to spare. Did you find a crater? You'll feel better once you find one. In Durango, you need to know who you are. You'll understand what your skills are. Uh, what are all these compies doing? I think those are compies. Alright, we can click this. And we can hit on skill. Melee, which we started with level 20 of. See the details. And, ooh, there's like an entire little perk tree that we can do here and try to cash in on. It does take some of these SP points. Whatever the hell those are. It says we have like 61 or something. So we could start ranking up some swords. Some axes. This is pretty cool. There's like an entire skill tree and stuff. Dude, for a mobile game, this is like stupidly fleshed out. What the hell? This is amazing. It seems like you're headed to a tamed island, but ended up on an unstable one. You need to return to the tamed island. You're not in the best physical condition. You need of energy. Hunt a small animal. Get some meat. Equip a gear. Improve your odds. I will try to do exactly that. Oh, Jesus. What is that man doing? Well, he's getting mugged, that's for sure. What do I have to do? Equipment. Do I have a blade? Uh, I have that. Can I equip that? Or can I um, can I not put this on? I, I like the knife better. I like the knife. I think this will go a lot better, especially because we're the warrior. This is what we do best. All right, what do I do? Click on the compi. Engage in combat. Yes. Oh, perfect. I got it on auto. I think I can do rolls and stuff. Although I don't think I unlock those. Regardless, this compi is going down. You stand no chance against me and my blade. Oh, why are we zooming in so close to my face? What a blogger done. Me and you share the struggle. Let me collect that meat. I wonder how much I- I like how the other compies don't care that I just murdered their brother. They're just like, yeah, you know, Timmy over there had it coming. I know it made it sound easy, but it was difficult obtaining meat from out of nowhere. You're doing a great job. Firewood. Use stuff like leaves, logs, or branches. I'll do exactly those. I mean, isn't there a bonfire right over here? So this shouldn't even be that hard to do. It says there's a fire. Yeah, there's a bonfire right here. Do I- can- do I really have to craft this? <laughs> All right, well, we need leaves and logs. Uh, we could probably just start chopping down the banana tree. It's a tree. Trees are choppable. That's a level five log? Hold on, the logs have levels? Oh my god. This is absolutely nutty. Oh, it looks like the banana trees fall pretty quickly, too. All right, well, let's click on that. Never mind, it's not letting me click on it. Let's chop down the crep myrtle. Oh, so it tells me how many of the resources there are that I can collect. I just realized that now. You guys probably already left a comment calling me stupid. Hey. I'd agree. I was pretty stupid for not noticing earlier. But yeah, if you can see the things I was clicking on, they had a little number right there in the lower right hand corner. What I just clicked on, use a lock tool, it will unlock upon use. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Well, find a pebble. Yeah, but you can see there's seven pebbles. I click on it, and as soon as this is done collecting, there's six left. I didn't fully realize that. That's actually a good thing for me to realize now instead of later. Energy consumption increased due to the disappointment of fail. How did I fail? 
Man, this game's over here telling me when I succeed, when I fail. I don't like it, but let's craft up another stone blade using this level 5 pebble. Definitely a better pebble than we had before. Alright, and weapon crafting level 5. Success! Crafted! Processing! Gather leaves and logs. Wait, I gotta gather more? Really? Um, let's get this last log then! Why not? We got the fire axe. Boom shakalaka! We have what we need. What are all these green things? Start a fire, flint in your walkie-talkie. Why is there a flint in my walkie-talkie? K must have given it to me. <gasps> he knows K. Alright, well let's figure out how to do some of these basic stuffs here. Rest slash residence. A bonfire. Build it. Oh, look at that! We can like, it's kind of like out the whole building grid. That's definitely gonna come in handy when we're building a base and stuff. I can already see it. And then we gotta click on some different pieces of fuel. And once we get those, we put them all in there, start a fire, and voila! Let there be light! That is what I said, and so there was. This isn't a tamed island or a camp. You'll have to make skewers since there aren't any cooking tools. You can use a branch to make a skewer, so I guess we gotta get a branch. Banana tree. Branch me, baby. Alright, they don't have branches. Sika jungle. Branch me, baby. I like that, though. There's, like, different times letting me know what I need to gather and stuff. I can't get over just, like, how detailed this game is. There's, like, so many things incorporated in just surviving and a lot of things you can do. I don't know. To me, that's really cool and a sign of a game that's going to be really good. But it's also, I don't know, if things get absolutely awful, which I don't think they will, but uh, if we get pooped on, it just turns out to be a giant grind. Who knows? But I think this is looking pretty promising and, like, it's going to be a fun one. I just want to get off this goddamn island. I want to go to the next one. To leave the island, you gotta find another island. Go and explore the island. Use craters as hints. Think of them as road si Why the hell would I think of a crater as a road sign? Uh, regardless, this man wants me to travel somewhere, so I guess I'll start doing that. Um, if I can get into water, I can start, like, search its... It, it's gotta be to the east. There's no other way that I could go, really, I think. Find a pit that looks like a crater. Uh, well, oh, down here, down south. It, it gives us the direction. I keep forgetting that. How the hell do we get down here, though? Mm. I think after a little bit of a detour, we ought to be able to do it. Yeah, right over here, there's a little pass. So in the map in the upper hand corner, if it's like that brownish thing, that just means we can't walk through it. But if it's just like a uh, greenish blue color, I think that means we can walk through it pretty safely. Little hole in the brown right here. And 20 meters away, we have what we are looking for, picking up faint noise. Why is a crater making noise? Has no one questioned this yet? Uh, organizations in Durango are interested in resources around craters. Cool. Carry out organizations' missions in the camp, located on another unstable island. Alright. Oh, what was that? What are, did my guy just, like, air pump? I don't even know. Hello, I'm Lu Ji, the director of PR. They have PR in, like, a <laughs> dinosaur survival situation. This dude's PR. Okay, in the Chlorophyll Forum. I apologize for walkie-talkie. It aims to protect the ecosystems. Forum's message. I hope it resonates. Volunteer for the forum. Compensation. Security. Camp's radio tower. Organizations are enthusiastic. Transmissions. Good to see you're getting a hand things. You learn fast. What are you wearing? I hope you're dressed for the weather. Hot and humid. Right kind of clothes. You'll be thankful later. So now it's time for us to start crafting up some clothes and stuff. But we have been going for a good amount of time. So I think we might continue. And we'll go ahead and hop off this island. And hopefully find our own base in the next episode. If you guys are liking this, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And by hitting that like button. And make sure you are subscribed to know when more comes out. But I think it's a good point for me to go ahead and edit off on. This is Durango Wildlands. Links in the description to check it out and uh, i'm excited this seems like it might be a very cool game and i'm very excited to see where it might take us but for now it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves a fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya